Yeah, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash. So we got a new one hot off the press. And what I'm gonna do is basically give you two or three different versions. We got the kind of easy strummer, the finger version, and then the picked version with all the little riffs. There's a bunch of cool little riffs in this song. So wherever you're at, there's gonna be something for you, right? And then if you're a beginner, you know, get the beginning version down, then try the next one and the next one. And before you know it, you know, you'll have it. So anyways, if you have a request of your own or you want a song simplified, go ahead and click that link and then just, you know, type in the request and simplify blah you know whatever you want so i aim to kind of break everything down we try to cover all levels here you know sometimes i throw some advanced stuff out there as a little, little carrot for the uh practice right because it's so awesome when stuff starts becoming more attainable whether it's acoustic or electric guitar it's super super fun so don't be discouraged keep practicing you will get there no matter what now let's zoom in for a closer look all right, let's go over this tune. What we're going to do is we're going to break it down a couple of different ways. There's some really cool little riffs, but you don't have to play them to make the song sound right. So we can go over just the chords in a strum version, or we can do just the, you know, the fingers and thumb version, and then I can show you a couple of cool riffs in there too. So what we can do is we can start with an E major chord, and then we're going to go up to the seventh fret and do a B major chord. And then we're going to come back and you're going to do that transition three times. And on the third time, when you come back down, you're going to go to an F sharp chord, major chord. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you're not super good at switching chords, what you can do is you can do the E right here like this with your second, third and fourth finger. And then just come up here and put your first finger down, go back down, come back up. And then when you have to go to that F sharp major chord, right? So the only thing you're moving around is your first finger. Off, on, right? Off, on, and then on. Right? So if, you, if you're just starting out, we can do a really simple strum pattern too, which is just down, down, up, up, down, up. Again, so it's gonna go. Right? That's one pattern. We're gonna do one pattern per chord, except the F sharp and we're gonna do two on that one. So if we did it that way, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so if you notice, if I do it this way, I can do the cool little slide sliding into the chord, so you're gonna go. Okay, now right there, over that F sharp chord, the second strum pattern, right? In place of that, there's a riff that you can slide up, and then you're gonna catch, so you went from A, four to six, and then we're gonna go B and G, fourth fret, and then you're gonna come back and slide down, and then we're gonna catch that F sharp major chord, but basically the, the B, G, and the D. Right, so it'd be. And then back into our. Right, so you can do that version. Now you can also do the more, you know, you know, just no plectrum. All I'm doing there is I'm going a down stroke with my first finger and then I mute. You know, I just put my palm and then I pluck across. So it creates almost kind of like a drum effect, right? So we got. And then I catch an upstroke. So I go down, down, up, up. So it's, or you can go, right? 
right? So it'd be up, up, down. So. On the F sharp chord, if you're not going to play the riff, it's going to go up, down, up, up, down. Right? So there's that version to do it. Now that's the first part of the song. There's another part, and I'll show you that. But then we can also use our pick or plectrum, right? And get this really awesome chord. Right? It's almost like a backwards E chord, right? If we did E major, it's going to be the same fret that we're going to change this note on. So here's our traditional E major chord. If we went to fingers one and two and then put it on the third fret instead of the first fret, you get this very awesome chord. So we can go. I'm just going E, D, G, B, G, and then hold. Right? So there's that version, right? So you can do that as well. So it's kind of a little bit of a both. You're doing the picking and the strumming. So, you know, choose your own adventure, right? You can always just... Right? Acoustic can be difficult. It's not the easiest thing to play. So, you know, accommodate for wherever you're at by choosing a different version, right? We can just do the all strum version, which is totally great, right? You get the point. Your friends aren't going to know if you're not playing all the cool little riffs or whatever, unless you got guitar friends, <laughs> right? And then, or, you know, if you're just a beginner, your buddies can do the little cool riffs and then you can play this little, you know, basic awesome, you know, it's still great part. So here, so we're going to go back and forth. We're going to do this three times. Now we're going to go down to the F sharp. basically the whole tune except for a bridge part. So let's go over that. All right, so let's go over the bridge part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a G sharp minor chord. And then we're gonna go up to that B chord again. Now we can use that same strum pattern in the beginning, right, if we're just a beginner. Right, we can use the kind of modified strum pattern. Right? We're going to go back and forth between those two chords, right? G sharp minor and the B three times. chord looked a little bit scary, right? That That's scary to you. You can just as well do an E chord right there. So we can go, right? So what we did is we went from here to here three times. 
After you do that three times, you're gonna go two strum patterns of E. And then you're gonna go straight up from there to B two strum patterns. Now from there, we're gonna go to a C sharp minor chord to the E, to the B. So that's gonna go. And then back here. Right, and back into the song. So again, we went G sharp minor to B three times. Then we went to E twice, B twice. Then we're gonna go to C sharp minor, to E, B twice. All right, now that's the whole progression of the bridge section. Now, if that's the easy version for us and we're like, okay, what are the cool little riffs? Well, let's break down some of those little riff ideas. So let's check those out. All right, now the riff version of the bridge is kind of that Hendrix thing, right? So what we're gonna do is, if it's a minor chord, we're basically going to play like it's a pentatonic position, one. So we're gonna go, right? And then from there, we're still gonna go to that B chord, but we're gonna highlight it. And what we did was we slid with our third finger from nine to 11 on the E, and then we're gonna go nine and slide back to the fifth of the B chord. So it's, all right, so we went. Now the next one, we can play the chord. Go back, the same thing. Now what we did on that one was we slid, same slide, and then we did the exact same kind of slide on the A string. So we went and slide right into nine to 11. So it's nine to 11 on the E, nine to 11 on the A, and then we're gonna catch, we're gonna flatten that finger and catch the B 11 and then slide down and then catch the nine on the A. So we got for the next part. All right, so it's gonna be on the first one, then we're gonna strum, right? We're gonna, first one's gonna be, second one's gonna be just all strum, right? We're gonna do, do on that chord and then then we're gonna come back. And then right there, we're gonna go into a cool version of an E chord, right? It's gonna be uh, seven on the A and then six on the D. And then we're gonna use our third finger seven and then we're gonna use eight on the G. Right, and then we're gonna go to that B chord. Now in place of the B chord, we're gonna slide up onto the 11 to 13 on the D. Right, so we're gonna go. And then we're gonna come back down to 11. And then we're gonna basically outline that E chord by hitting the E and the fifth of the E. So we got. Okay, so that would sound like this. Then that's where we drop down to the C sharp minor chord. And then back to the, and then it goes back to B, which we would play that riff again. And then back to, back into the actual song. So those are the basic parts of the song. 
and you know just accommodate your playing to whatever level you're at and use that kind of different the different methods we can use that chord we can use this chord you know whatever fits your playing style by all means you know don't feel sad if you can't do the harder chords acoustics is a tough instrument to play right you know there's no distortion or anything to be forgiving you hear all the mistakes so practice at whatever level you're at and get good at that version and then once you got maybe the simple version move up to the you know the little the next version you know use your your hand instead and then try the version with all the different chord inversions and all the little riffs and you know before you know it you'll have them all all right yes way to go awesome job awesome job again if you want a song broken down a little little simplified version click that link below or you're like dude I am ready to be challenged. Then, you know, put something, you know, what you consider challenging in there and then I will, uh, I'll do my best if I can play it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right, as always, thank you so, so much for checking out Papa Stash Pop. I know there's a million other channels out there and you chose this one, so you guys are awesome. We'll catch you next time.